I'm Bill O'Donnell with PCT International. Today we're going to be talking about our PCT TRS torque retaining connector line. Our connectors are, work on standard shield, tri shield, and quad shield cables. We make them in series 6, series 59, and series 7 and 11. These connectors are unique on the market in that they actually use 100% metal design. Our connectors have two compression rings located in the rear of the connectors that collapse on the, the cable themselves to create a hermetic seal around the cable jacketing. The other noticeable difference on our connectors is that we use an O-ring in the face of the connector and an O-ring in the rear of the connector. Most connectors on the market will only use a rear O-ring. The, the O-ring located in the face of the connector will actually help maintain a moisture tight seal without the use of a weather boot. The other noticeable difference in the connector is that it actually uses a locking washer. What this lock washer will do will help to maintain the connector's torque over time regardless of temperature fluctuation or vibration. Typically what you'll find on the industry after time is that your connectors start to look corroded because moisture gets into the connectors. On this picture here, what you'll see is that the center conductor is actually now black and corroded and that you have corrosion setting in on the threads. Most of your trouble calls will happen in the drop system. 90% of all trouble calls as a matter of fact. With our connectors, what we're trying to do is eliminate these problems altogether. What you'll see with our connectors is that the O-ring is located inside of the face here and it actually sits down in a special chamber. What you're seeing here is a barrel and you're seeing our connector cross cut here. What you'll get is you get a true metal to metal contact of the post and of the face of the connector's port. This is the uh, ideal situation for the best shielding that you can get. Most of the people that have tried putting an o-ring in the face of the connector have had problems where you're not getting a true metal to metal contact of the port face and of the post inside of the connector. What you'll also notice here in the rear of the connector is that the compression rings create a nice smooth radial seal that do not cut into the cable jacketing. So we'll go through a demonstration that will highlight the benefits of the moisture protection uh, sealing that we have here. So I've got uh, just you know some regular water here and what we have here is just a standard fish pump. This fish pump will do about 1 to 2 psi and will allow us to, uh, to pump some air through it. What you'll see here is I'm just using a standard connector that doesn't have any sort of o-ring in the face and I'm also using just our PCT TRS6L connector that has the o-ring in the face. As you can see there's not much air coming through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a standard two-way splitter that we manufacture. Our splitters are sealed on every port so this will allow us to terminate this to it and it should not leak through the, uh, the ports of the splitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten the connector up and I'm going to use a 30 inch pound torque wrench. When I use the torque wrench I'm going to submerge this in water and what you'll see is that the, uh, the bubbles are actually coming out through the threads of the connector. Now because we don't work for NASA and we don't have precision threading on our connectors or our splitters, what you'll see is that all connectors on the market will actually leak like this. That's why you get water migration into your cable, into your connector assemblies. And that's why we actually have to make O-rings and we have to make weather boots and all sorts of things to keep the moisture out. Well with the PCT TRS6L connectors, if I terminate the same connector and I just finger tighten it even, when I stick it into the water, what you'll notice is that the water, uh, the air is not getting out through the threads. How this works is that the pressure is equalized inside. So what we're doing is we're actually, it's just like taking a, a straw and putting your thumb over it. When I dip the straw into the water, what you'll find is that the water doesn't enter into the straw. But the second I take my thumb off, now the water is entering in through. So with our connectors, at 30 inch pounds, you can be guaranteed that you're not going to get any sort of moisture into the assembly. So it should actually, in theory, allow you to have a longer lifed cable and a longer connector life. Thank you for taking the time to review our video today. 
For more information about any of our products, please visit us at www.pctinternational.com. Thank you and have a great day.